I'm going to move on to making the inner bands for the boiler where the insulation sits in between and them inner bands are for when you've put your outer wrap of the boiler on that's going to be painted that's where the outer bands grip on apparently in the sweet B, sweet pea book it's very very vague about this and don't tell you much at all and I've not got experience because I've never done one before so I'm just applying my logic I'm going to make three mild steel bands using half inch by one eighth flat mild steel bar roll it into that diameter well I'm going to bend it into that diameter I'm not going to roll it I ain't got no rollers bend it into that diameter and I, I'm not sure I'm going to fasten it underneath yet probably do a lap joint with a little 6BA screw in I'll get to that when we get to it and then in between them bands go some insulation and then make me outer wrapping which will be painted etc to fit on the outside and then there'll be three brass bands three brass brands don't know what they'll be playing three bass, brass bands will go round that uh, and fasten underneath in the bottom right I've had a bit of a think about this and uh, maybe I don't know for sure but maybe you have to put these rings on before you put your smoke box on uh, I don't know for sure but however if you do you still can't get the far one on near the firebox end because the clack valve bushes are in the way so maybe that scenario is out of equation so what I'm going to do I've put my length of steel and I'm going, to, I'm going to bend it into a circle and on each end of the steel I've thinned it down to half the, half the, the width, half the thickness so it's on opposite ends because when I bend it I want them to meet and join and be flush like that so once I've bent it, it'll come round the boiler and then I'm going to put a jubilee clip on to clamp it round the boiler and the, then I'm going to mark it, mark for the hole for a 6BA screw and that's how I'm going to fix it. Obviously it's only going to be a 1 8 long screw because I don't want to go into the boiler. So that's how I'm going to fix it. So to get your length of material, it's, ob it's uh, a little mathematical equation you've got to use and that's pi times diameter to give you the circumference in my case it's 16 and a half then I've allowed 7 eighths on each end for the overlap so I've, I've cut two piece, three pieces off uh, 18 and a quarter and I'm going to bend them around this piece of steel which is less diameter than, than I need because when I bend it round it's going to spring out and I'm just doing a, a guesstimation here of how much it's going to spring and then once I've bent it that's me, more or less my gauge of the diameter I want to be at now I'm not, you've not got to be too critical about this as long as it's a circle and there's no light, it's not egg shaped because when you get it onto your boiler you've got to then open it out to drop it over your boiler and then the jubilee, jubilee clip, which I call them, is going to go on it and then bring it back to its shape. Right, next job then is to fit it onto actual uh, the actual boiler, uh, and I've got to o open it up to do that. So I'm going to lose my shape a bit, but this um, I call them jubilee clips. This jubilee clip that I've already got on the boiler will grip round this and bring it back to a to its a proper diameter. I need to get access to this pre-drilled hole that I've made in one side. Right, 
Right, in my pre-drilled hole here that I've got, I'm just going to mark that, ready to drill it for a 6BA screw. What you don't want to be doing here is going through boiler. Right, loosen that off now, then I can drill it. This one before I drill it. So I've marked my hole for my screw, I'm going to tap that 6BA now. And I've got to put clearance all on the other side. I've also got to counter sink it so that everything's flush when it's screwed together. Now I've just got to tap that old 6BA I don't know if you can see me screw all there, I'm in line now and what I've done I've made some very tiny 6BA screws 1 8 long countersunk and hopefully that should be, go in there That's just tight enough now that I can knock it, knock it in any position. So I've already done one here, look. That's my front one, that's my middle one. I've just got the other one now to put on the other side. Then I'm going to take them off and just give them a coat of paint. And then fit them back on, ready for my installation coming. That's it for this video then. Uh, if you've not seen my other videos, take a look at them. And if not, I'll catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.